Even after last week's certification of electoral votes for President-elect Joe Biden and all of the ugliness surrounding the riot at the U.S. Capitol, some elected leaders in Arizona still don't acknowledge the election's outcome. Joe Dana has been trying to track some of them down. Do you acknowledge the legitimacy of the presidential election? I'm on my way to some meetings right now. Do, do, you, do you acknowledge that Joe Biden is the president-elect? That's Republican State Senator Nancy Bardo of North Phoenix, not willing to say yes or no to a pretty straightforward question. We've been trying to get a hold of her for the past couple of weeks, okay. or longer, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not in today. At State Treasurer Kimberly Yee's office, still no response from Yee about whether she accepts the outcome of the election. Yee is the third-ranking Republican in the state and campaigned hard for President Trump. Republican State Representative Mark Fincham attended last week's rally in Washington, D.C., opposing the certification. Do you acknowledge Joe Biden as the president-elect? I, I mean, that's basically what the Electoral College has said, so that's kind of where we're at. Republican Senator Paul Boyer says Trump's loss should be a time of reflection for the party. Uh, if you look in Arizona in particular, there were, I believe, 35,000 uh, Republican voters that just didn't vote for president. They left it blank. And that really should say a lot to, to us as a party who we elect as our next uh, nominee for in 2023. Republican Representative Michelle Udall also accepts the election as legitimate. Are you concerned that some of your colleagues are still discussing conspiracy theories and not accepting the election results? Yes. Why is it concerning? Because we need to focus on getting things done that need to be done. Then there's Republican Senate President Karen Fan. I spoke with her here without a camera rolling. I asked her three times if she accepts Joe Biden as the president-elect. She didn't answer my question and told me to make an appointment for an interview. Over the past month or so, I've actually made five requests through her liaison for an interview. They've all been denied. Senate President Fan walked away when I tried to ask her more questions. Joe Dana, 12 News.